There's a, there's a very interesting popular misconception which has been fueled by movies like Armageddon. And that misconception is that when meteorites hit the earth, they're, they're burning. They're like, they're burning fireballs. And that's not, that's not the case. So the, the period that we would call a fireball or a shooting star ends as the potential meteorite is still several miles up in the atmosphere. So what happens is, let's, let's use this iron meteorite as an example. As, as a, a mass hits or encounters Earth's atmosphere, it's, it's traveling at a tremendous velocity. 17,000, 20,000 miles an hour might be average, average speed. And as it hits the atmosphere, it compresses the air ahead of it and it slows down. And so it is that compression of air that generates the heat that causes the, the potential meteorite to, to, to melt and ablate. And I say potential meteorite because it doesn't become a meteorite until it actually lands on the Earth. What we see in the air is a meteor. And this one that I used as an example is another one of my favorites. I call this one the octopus. So it, from a certain angle, it, to me, this looks like the head of an octopus. And here is a natural hole, which is extremely rare in meteorites. This will have formed either during its flight or possibly uh, as, it, as it lay on the earth for thousands of years. What most likely happened here is a softer element inside the mass melted out, forming that natural hole. And, and I'm guessing here, but I would say not even one in a thousand iron meteorites has a natural hole like that.